Welcome to episode 52. So tonight's episode, we're gonna announce the winners of the draw. <gasps> we're gonna count cars. <gasps> and we got footage of the UDRs at the Monster Truck Show. <gasps> Stay tuned. Thunder out there. It knows this show it is knows going. episode 20 is it's here. struck lightning. No, welcome. Episode 23. Episode 23. Urch Weekly. No. Urch Weekly. No. It's the Ultra RC Hobby Show. Okay, so welcome to episode 52. Yep. Our one year anniversary. One year. Congratulations. High five. Put up with me for another year. Woo woo. Yeah, so we're going to keep this train on rolling on through and uh, we're going to. We're gonna, you know, talk about things and stuff again for another year, hopefully. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, we were at the Monster Truck Show, yep. and we have some carnage. Chris, did you wanna hand me over those UDRs? Yep, she's broken. So, like, I think you're missing some stuff, Just man. some stuff, dude. Like, no. I mean, there's supposed to be stuff here. I feel right? like your battery's here. still in here. It no, is. yours has a front end, too. I mean, I mean, mine's not so bad. It's just a broken A arm. But I mean, mine wasn't so bad. Yeah, we were sending it off the jumps at uh, the Ram Motorsports Spectacular. Yeah. We had two UDRs going, and none of them came home in one piece. Nope. So I mean, this one's for you guys in comm commemory of uh, a year. Commemoration of a year. There you go. I think that's what I was looking for. Yeah. That was a good know. commemory. I don't know. I'm not. I don't know. You know what? So you're gonna check out this footage. Here it is. I'm just like chazzled, man. Shut up. Yeah, this this episode is brought to you by. Um, they're, they're Ooh, very there it is. very delicious. Remember that song? Who did it? Who did it? Who did it? No, I'm not that old, but like, I think I remember. What movie was that? Space Jam. Good Where? song. Space Jam song. Not gonna sing it, but I know what. It's playing in my head right now. Are we gonna draw some prizes? No, I'm just gonna go with I have some more pro tips from Evan's thing. Oh, do you? Yeah. Okay. So, you done chomping? Yeah, man. Didn't know you were waiting for me. I was waiting for you the whole time. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay. So, everyone seemed to be super excited about the pro tips and Evan's rebuild on his Techno ET 48.3. So, we're gonna keep that going and we have a couple more tips as well as uh, we made some progress on the rebuild. So, check it out. Okay, so today we're gonna look at bearings. This is something that a lot of people kind of forget about uh, is motor bearings. So every motor has two bearings, one in the front end bell, one in the back end bell. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this motor apart and I'm gonna show you how we take all the motor bearings out. Sometimes they can be really seized in there, especially if you have uh, a waterproof truck, say like a Castle or a Valenian or something that sees a lot of water. They can be kind of a pain to get out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to get them out uh, and uh, the way we do it, make it a little bit easier for maybe next time you wanna do your bearings or you wanna check them uh, before summer hits. So stay tuned. All right, so as you can see, we got the end bell bearing here. We got the two bells, front bell and the back bell. But what you can notice here is there's a, a nice layer of dust. And uh, the issue with this is this whole thing is full of dust. So what we wanna do is we wanna take our air compressor and blow it out. Uh, and on this piece, we can use some electrical contact cleaner once we get the bearing out, just to make sure that the hole sensors, these guys, um, are gonna be able to pick up what we need them to pick up uh, for the sensorless 
or censored side of the motor. So we're gonna clean this out quick and we have some CowRC uh, contact cleaner that we're gonna use to clean all the good stuff out of that motor. So it's pretty dirty. This is definitely one thing you wanna do more often than not. I mean, this is gonna be what eats up bearings and look at these bearings. They are a double steel shield bearing. So there's a steel shield on both sides. So with a steel shield, it'll handle a little bit more heat and a little bit more revolutions. The only downside with them is they definitely don't have the capacity to keep the dirt debris out like a double rubber shield would. So the issue with that now is all that dirt and debris is gonna get into this bearing and make it chunky. And that's definitely gonna kill bearings. So I mean, the front bearing in here was kind of chunky. And the problem is with these spinning at, you know, 30,000 RPM and, and a little bit less than that, you kind of uh, eat through them pretty quick. So definitely something to check out. Okay, so we got our Cow RC electronics cleaner and degreaser. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna give a spray. You can see all the stuff come off. And we're gonna spray this side as well. So we're gonna spray that, leave that sit. I'm gonna hand the, hand the camera over because I can't, I can't use four hands because I only have too many. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray out this motor as well. Spray out the brushes on the sides here. We already blew it out with uh, just regular old air from the air compressor. But we just wanna make sure that this is all clean and we don't have much gunk. So I'm gonna let that sit. And I'm just gonna grab a clean toothbrush here. I'm gonna give this a, a quick little clean. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna clean up these hall sensors and just make sure there's no debris or anything on them. Um, these are actually gonna be the pickups and these are gonna pick up the rotor inside the housing itself. So this will give this a quick clean. And do the same to the other side here. Okay. And then this, you just wanna be super careful. Let's give it a light dusting, make sure there's no loose debris inside of it because the windings will hold some um, and just spraying it with air and stuff isn't gonna do it all. So let's give this a quick clean here. Let's grab the air compressor and give it another blow. And we're good to go. So time to put new bearings in these bells and we were super fortunate. So how this came apart was uh, the big bearing was actually on the rotor. So it came out with the rotor, it didn't even have to pop it off the bell. So that was super bonus. Um, so before we put a new bearing in it, what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean the bearing face. So where this bearing rides on the bottom, you can see there's a whole bunch of dirt and debris inside of there. So we're gonna clean this up really good and just make sure that we don't have any loose debris or burrs in there. So we wanna make sure that this bearing sits fully inside of here. Um, because the issue is if this doesn't sit fully, um, the rotor, instead of the bearing sitting and sitting like all the way flush here, so like, just like that, sitting all the way down, if it sat out farther, so say if it sat out in here, this actually is gonna collapse the rotor and it's gonna put more resistance inside that motor just because now the rotor is putting preload on these bearings. And if you put preload on these bearings, it's gonna spin freely until the bearings grenade. You're putting pressure and you're gonna be putting pressure on the inner race and the outer race. And what's gonna happen is the bearing is gonna fold and the cage is gonna open up and all the balls are gonna fall out. So that's not gonna be good because you won't have a bearing. You'll have two kind of bushings. I mean, that's not good. So just make sure that that fully sits. So we're gonna take this bearing out of the end bell here. And other than that, we can put this baby back together, clean up this side. I cleaned up the chassis already. So what we can do is just slap this whole side piece uh, pod back on the truck and we're pretty much good to go. So stay tuned. Okay, so this week's pro tip is how to get a steel bearing out of aluminum end bell. Castle Motors, Traxxas Motors, um, Tekin, any company like that is gonna have a system like this. So we're gonna show you how we get these bearings out using a little bit of heat and maybe a little bit of penetrating oil depending on how rusty the bottom of your end bell is. This one you can see nice and clean, don't have too much to worry. So uh, I'm gonna put you on the tripod and you can watch what happens when you put a little bit of heat um, to this end bell, so stick around. Okay, we're gonna apply a little bit of heat on this bad boy right now. So what will happen is the aluminum is gonna expand, and as it expands, you can see that bearing popping out as we speak. 
There you go, it's out just like that. So a little bit of heat, this end bell will expand uh, and the bearing's gonna expand at a slower rate. So what's gonna happen is when this expands, it's gonna expand faster than that bearing and the bearing's just gonna pop out. Sometimes you do need to take a punch and give it a little bit of a punch and get that bearing out. But on some of the castles, for example, they don't actually have this opening on the back end bell. So what you have to do is you have to grab a dead blow hammer. So a hammer that looks like this, doesn't have a metal to it, and just give it a little tap and uh, that bearing will pop right out. So kind of something neat. I thought you guys would like to know that. I get a lot of bearings come through the shop that are stuck in here or you just have a race um, because they try to pound it out and they don't heat it up and make it easy. So um, that's kind of the pro tip for today. <coughs> Thanks, buddy. Yeah, I got you. Saving grace. Okay. Oh, he's so inconveniently chewing. Okay, so the reason everyone's really here mm -hmm. is to figure out how many cars you and I have combined. Yeah, we're gonna count them out? Yeah, we're gonna count them out. So just so you people don't think we're liars, terrible people, we counted how many cars we have. It took us two tries. Um, Chris and I got a little bit confused. I have dyslexia. But I mean, we counted 16 twice, and then we only had 23, and then we had Someone 25. Seven. And, I don't know what happened. Yeah, it was I'm not good at long division. So I mean, here's the count, and then we'll get right into doing prizes. So let's do the count, Chris. Oh. We're not just going to tell you the number. We're going to count it out. count it out. Yeah. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15. And here's 15, 16, and 17. That's incorrect. This is 15. 14. No. 13, 14, 15. We're going to take this count. Take two. 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, and then 6. 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12. I show you. 13, 14, 15. I told 16. You. There we go. 17, and then 18. 19, 20, 21. 22. 23, 24. Bing, 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 bing. 24. That is the correct answer of 24 RC cars between Chris Debert and I. Yes. So now let's kind of show them whose is what and what's what and whose is his and hers and Jeff and Bob and Jeff and Bob. Okay, we're oh, good. I took Bob's away from him. Okay, so this is my UDR. Yep. Broken at the Monster Truck Show, which you see footage of that today. Yep. My yeah. Traxxas X01 supercar. Oh, my Vitera Glamis. Fear, my TRX4, uh, my Traxxas UDR, which is also broken from the Monster Truck Show. But you'll see footage of that. Yeah, no, you won't. You'll see we, footage, didn't, yeah. we didn't get any. Footage we didn't get any footage of mine. Uh, my HPI WR8, uh, my Yokomo Drift Package Plus. We've got the Tamiya M06 Miata, uh, the Tamiya M05 Suzuki Jimny, the Tamiya TA02 SW Porsche. Tamiya M06 Beetle, the Yokomo YRS Roadster, you guys saw that a few episodes ago. Chris is like, I just want to talk about me, I just want to talk so about that. So many I. cars. Yeah, you have many cars. Okay, this is my kind of stretch here for the next three. Okay, Techno NB 48.4 Nitro Buggy, uh, Techno ET 48.3 E-Truggy, custom one-off monster truck build. It just needs a motor speed control and a couple servos and that's up and running. And then back to Chris. I've got the Team CRC F1 car, uh, Tamiya M05 version 1 uh, Mini Cooper, and the Tamiya WR02C Honda City Turbo. Okay, we're back to me again, yay! Okay, so um, a Team Associated B6D. This was my championship car from last year that my girlfriend's running, Katie. This is my current car, two-wheel drive buggy, a B61D from Team Associated, four-wheel drive buggy, a Techno EB410, and this is my other EB410 that I got from him, so we're calling that iron buggy. Yeah, and then I've got my Tamiya MF01X low-wide pumpkin. And then you know all this bad boy. Grandpa's Drift, Grandpa's drift Missile, the, the HP IRS4 Sport 3 Drift. So there it is. So there you go, that's 24. our that's our 24. We were not lying, we actually no. had 24. So out of the 24 number, we yeah. only had seven people guess that as yeah. the correct answer. So like, I'm pretty impressed. Yeah, that's pretty good. Like, I was not sure how many people were gonna get this. So, that's pretty good. So, congratulations. Final tally, I have 15 vehicles. So that leaves me with nine last nine. time I mathed. 
You know, so, pick yeah. those numbers up. Those are rookie numbers. Well, dude, I can't. Af- I, I can't fund all these cars. You just have Tamias, bro. They're cheap. That's what I mean. Tamias are cheap. Get more. Get more. <laughs> For sure, you're supposed to say, get some. Get, get some. some. Get some. Okay. Ooh, so, how we're gonna do this is there were seven people. Seven people that got this answer right of 24. That's pretty good. I'm pretty impressed. So what we're going to do is we're going to give away and make sure those people for sure get a prize. Um, so we're going to do their giveaway first. And this is everybody else. So everyone else was There's super close there. for getting this right. So, I mean, guesses, we're going we're gonna to give you a chance to win something as well. Uh, but the people that got it right are, are in the, here in this bucket. So the seven, Chris. So what are we choosing first? Um, let's give away the Rites of Passage first. So Rites of Passage let's do that tattoo. Boy. Rites of Passage tattoo donated to us by Brian Huntington. Thank you, um, Brian. Thank you, Brian. This is good for anybody, uh, any of the artists in Rites of Passage tattoo. 18, 18 plus. plus prize. Saskatoon. Saskatoon and, area. and surrounding area. So yeah, Chris pretty much had her done. Yeah. I so did. Rites of Passage tattoo, you go. Who's gonna be Deaver? Eyes gonna are be? shut. Eyes are shut. Okay, I got one. Ready? Okay. Yeah. Dustin Metz! Congratulations, <laughs> Dustin! On winning the tattoo. On winning a tattoo! Well, son of a gun, eh? So Dustin Metz wins the $100 gift card for Rites of Passage. Next up, we're gonna do pre-runner. the pre-runner. So... You do this time. Okay. So the winner of the tracks is pre-runner is... Jaden Schmies. Ooh, congratulations, so Jaden. Jaden wins the Latrax pre-runner. Okay, so next up, we'll do the $25 gift card donated to us from Cameron Penner uh, for Ultra RC Hobbies. $25 gift card. Bum ba da bum! Oh, who is it? Dennis Beck! Dennis Beck, you won a $25 gift card to Ultra RC Hobbies. Congratulations. Okay, next up, we'll do a $25 Carson's Barbecue gift card. Yeah. And the winner is. Savannah Sky Anderson. Ooh, congratulations. Congratulations, Savannah, on a $25 gift card to Carson's Barbecue. So next up, we'll do the $25 gift card to the German Culture Center, um, donated to us by Chandra, yep. Brian Huntington's fiance. Thank so congratulations, you. thank you. So let's see. Who is it, Debert? Dylan Robinson. Congratulations, Dylan, on a $25 gift card. Okay, so next up we have another $25 gift card um, for Carson's Barbecue. And this one is going out to Shaylin Fair. Ooh. Shaylin Fair, congratulations on winning a $25 Carson's Barbecue gift card. So the last thing up, we have a $25 gift card um, to Santa Lucia Pizza on the west side. So this is We have the, two of them. Well, we have two of them, but I mean, this is going to be for this one, of, one of them. Why do you guys want to cut me off? So, I mean, there's only one name left, so I think it doesn't really matter. Matt Johnson. Congratulations, you Matt. You win a $25 gift card to San Lucia pizza, pizza on the west from side. On the west side. Okay. Whoop, so that goes over there. Okay. So now, now, this is the big pile. So this is, this is uh, everybody. Yeah, that's right a here. lot of people. Right here. Okay. My so, guess in there? No. You want to help me fold these up here? Oh, jeez. Better put this in time lapse, cameraman. You didn't have. Upside down. Okay, so you have three extra prizes Ooh. that have been donated last minute. Yep. So now, to sweeten up the pot, we have two Ultra RC Hobbies t-shirts, and we also have one $100. Yeah, I said 100 bucks. 100 bucks. Ultra RC Hobbies gift card. So, there's some prizes to be won now. You, you thought that all the good prizes were gone? Eh, incorrect. We got one. Everyone else still gets a chance at a real good prize. Okay, so now we have all these people though. So, what are we doing first? You wanna do a, a Kyosho damper rebuild stand? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so this was donated to us from our awesome friends at High Performance Distributors in BC. So thank you, Dan and Chris. Ready? Yep. Get one right from the bottom so we don't like pick right from the top. Yeah. Who is it? Kaylin Kirchhoff. Dalton, Dalton's wife. Dalton's wife. Congratulations. Congratulations. Dalton's gonna like that. 
that's, that's the shock stand. So the next thing we have shocking. is a nice aluminum car stand from Kyosho. Also donated to us from uh, high performance Which distributors. Color is this, one? this one's red, dude. Ooh, jealous. Ultra RC red. Peter Butter and Jealous. Yeah. So also brought to you by the good folks down at High Performance Distributors in BC. So thank you for that. Thank you, HBD. Okay, so really just get in there. This one. Jamie Wardell. Ooh, congratulations. On the, the car stand. Congratulations. I'm trying to stand you up. Wow. Wow. Okay. Hobby Wing, North America t shirt. Who, who's going to win her, Deaver? This, this one right here. I got it. I got two. This right one. from the bottom. Dalton Gertrop. Holy moly. Congratulations, Dalton. Folks from Rosetown are just cleaning up. Cleaning up. Cleaning up. Okay, so we'll do another. Yeah, let's do another Hobby Wing oh, shirt. Another Hobby Wing shirt. Second okay, Hobby Wing shirt. Let's see, this one is for Kevin Rutt. Ooh, congratulations, congratulations Kevin. Kevin. Okay, make sure you don't get those confused. Um, should we do a, a Power H t-shirt? Sure. Dana Dinsmore! Congratulations, Dana. Congratulations, so this is Dana. like a whole bunch of people from out of town. Three people from Rosetown, one from Meadow Lake, and they're just cleaning up all the out of towners. Okay, Power HD shirt. I got this one. Ready? Yeah. Evan for Leak. Congratulations, Congratulations Evan. Evan. Okay, last Power HD shirt we got, I think. Nope, I lied. Two more. Dylan Martins. Congratulations, Dylan. Congratulations, Dylan. Okay, we have one more Power H T shirt. I lied. One oh, more Power H. So many. And this one's going to bum, ba, bum. Caleb Frieden. Congratulations. Congratulations, Caleb. Caleb. What's next? Okay, you want to do um, another Santa Lucia pizza twenty-five dollar gift card for the sure. West End? Okay, who's gonna win this one, Deaver? Dylan Robinson. Congratulations, Dylan. Is that the second one? No, nope, that was Dylan Martins. Mabin names. Okay, so next um, we have Ultra RC Hobbies t-shirt. Exciting. And this is going to Chance Schmidt. Congratulations, Chance. Congratulations, Chance. Yeah, just, just get in there, Debert. Do you do another Ultra RC Hobbies t shirt? Yeah. You know, you're just in the pile. You're not even looking at what we're doing. I don't just even. I just want to pick. Okay. I just like picking winners. Who's the winner? Steve Bonner. From YouTube. Congratulations. From the YouTube. From the YouTube. On the YouTube. Uh, winning a, another Ultra RC Hobbies t shirt. Okay, so what do we have left? We have a Techno t shirt. You pick this time. Who's the Techno t shirt going to? Someone who doesn't like Techno. They like Dubstep better. Um, the Techno T-shirt is going to Brian Huntington. Congratulations, Brian! Should have been a heavy metal T-shirt. Yeah. Okay. What do we have left? What do we have left? We have a hundred dollar gift card. Don't no. We? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Okay. Hundred dollar gift card to Ultra RC Hobbies. Final prize. Final prize of the day. Who's it going to? Nico Massey. Congratulations, Nico, Congratulations. on the $100 gift card to Ultra RC Hobbies. So, that's it. That's all. That's all we got. That's all we got. There's a lot of prizes. We gave a lot of stuff away today. A lot of prizes and a lot of people entered. So, thank you, everyone, for your guesses and support of the Ultra RC Hobbies show for the last 52 weeks. Uh, that's a long time, eh? I know. I have to put up with him for 52 whole weeks. Holy leg. This guy. Oh man. Oh man. He's done. I quit. It's just a Chris Deeb's RC Ultra Hobby Show Urge Weekly. Now, welcome. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.
Follow him on Instagram. <laughs> don't forget, Aaron. <laughs> no. Don't forget to... to are we done now? Are we, did you sign off? Know, are we? I don't know. You kind of started like <laughs> I just kind of went on a rant. Oh, you're just... Okay. Rant. Yeah, we can though. Okay. So, I think that's really all we have right, for we episode have 52. So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Make um, sure you check out our Facebook. Ultra RC Hobbies. Don't forget to share with all your friends on Facebook. Yeah. Don't forget to check him out on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook, RC Deebs. Yes. Don't forget to check out the website, www.ultrarchobbies.com. And we just want to say a big thank you to everybody that's followed us and liked, shared, commented, guessed on this post, and supported us for the last 52 weeks. So mm -hmm. thank you, everybody. Let's keep this going. Um, and hope to catch you all on the next one. I didn't shake anything this episode. There we go. Okay, we're good. Have a good night. <laughs> we're done. We're done. Peace up something. We're good.